Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel, this is Ben here. I make videos about my depression, my anxiety, my paranoid schizophrenia when I was first diagnosed with it back in 2004, which is some 16 years ago now. 16 years of living with paranoid schizophrenia, which I got from smoking too much weed and then doing too much speed, well, bass, which is, which is basically a paste that you bomb using a rizzo, you wrap it up in a rizzo, then you put it in your mouth and swallow it with some water. Simple as that, done. Bomb, boom, it's all done. And then you'll get high for about six hours off a gram of speed if you're lucky. I got high for about half an hour and then I got wired for the whole night. So I couldn't sleep, but the actual highness was about half an hour. Then I felt low, but I couldn't sleep because I was wired. The initial effects are quite good for concentrating on making videos and stuff. I made tons of videos when I was on speed and no one noticed. It just kept me wanting to do more and more videos and making, well, changing it so I'm helping other people, which I hope my videos do. Anyway, this video is about the COVID-19 outbreak. If you have a temperature over 37 degrees centigrade, Celsius, sorry, not centigrade, 37 degrees Celsius is the highest you should be or 37 and a half Celsius is about the highest you should be. I'm usually 35.4 degrees Celsius, I'm cool, cool as a cucumber. I go outside quite a lot to smoke cigarettes as well, hand rolled cigarettes. When I'm smoking with them, it's not a joint like it might look like to some newbies. You can actually get hand rolling tobacco and rizzers to make your own cigarettes. This is what I've always done for my whole life. I've never smoked straights. I always smoke a straight if someone gives me one, like Sheila, Someone who works here gives me a straight. She lives here, not works here. She's a nice friend of mine. She gives me a straight every so often and I don't refuse it. But I would give her a back or give her a quid. I don't do this too often though. I don't even want a straight really. She just offers me one. Uh, it's really nice of her. She's a lovely woman, she is. Anyway, this COVID-19 is an outbreak in the UK at the moment and the whole world. It started in Wuhan in China, the city of Wuhan, and it's a pro Wuhan province as well. So it's Wuhan is an area of China, as well as being a big city. It is a, the start of the coronavirus originated from Wuhan, I think, in China. And people over there were wearing face masks. They had all the PPE, personal protective equipment, way before we did in the UK. They're about a month ahead of us and everything in China. Even Japan's ahead of us. They've probably, probably got masks in galore in China. Everyone you see in the street wears a mask in China. We don't do it here. Why not, we should ask ourselves. We should be wearing the PPE when we go out, other than the aprons, really. We should be wearing a protective mask. We should have a visor over our face, like, you, like you're wearing a motorbike helmet, but not without that actual crash helmet part of it. Just over your visor, over your eyes and over your mouth. So if you cough or breathe over someone, them little particles that you might spit out don't actually go into someone else's mouth or into the air. Because when someone else breathes them in, this can transmit the coronavirus to them. You might not know this, but it's the truth, and it's awful, isn't it, to say that. You can't even breathe without it being in the air. It can linger in the air as well. So if you walk through an aisle of a supermarket where someone with COVID-19 has been breathing, you, and you walk through that, that spot where, where they've been breathing, you can pick up coronavirus just from this. It's a severe res respiratory disease, virus, I should say. It's a severe virus that is better once it's once you're in quarantine for 12 weeks like if you're if you're an elderly person or if you're someone with breathing difficulties or if you have diabetes you should be self-isolating for 12 weeks starting from the, this day really if you're in the at-risk category and that's people over 70 years old people with diabetes and people with severe breathing problems like COPD, diagnosed with COPD. These people are the ones that we're fighting for at the moment. We can't go out anywhere other than walk through the field in this house, walk through the back fields and then through some more fields, see the donkey, see the sheep, and then come back home again and upload the videos that I make whilst I'm out. Anyway, back to Corona-19. This is a nasty virus that's transmitting itself around the whole of the world through carriers. 
the first person I thought of was it in that cruise ship that was docking somewhere. Well, or they first spotted odd signs that someone had a temperature and someone was someone had the coronavirus on a ship somewhere and they brought it to England. This is a long time ago now, this is like two months ago, when it first happened, maybe three months ago. But I don't know how long it's actually been now with the coronavirus. It seems like a long time, but it's probably not as long time as I think it is. Because the time goes very slow when you're stuck inside all day, doesn't it? I'm sure you will agree on that. It's very boring being stuck in. You can't really see your friends other than through FaceTime and Skype. I don't use Skype because I don't believe in Microsoft stuff anymore. I believe in Apple stuff. I'm a bit different to other people. I just find that Apple stuff works. I'm not into overclocking anymore. You can't get any Apple overclocking apps. It's all so software designed for Microsoft apps like Windows, Windows, to Windows 8.1. Windows 10 is out now and it has been for quite a while. It's a good operating system, but it'll still blue screen on you sometimes. I used to have Windows 8.1, Windows 7. I never had 10. But I had 8.1 was the latest operating system I had that was Windows, Microsoft Windows. And I don't really like Bill Gates, I think he owns too much of the uh, computing background. Because too many assets. And he's rich as he, as it gets and I don't want him to have any more money because of me. So I want him to have shareholders that are working for him to have the end pro some of the end profit, a percentage of the profit that the whole of Microsoft makes. That's like what a uh, richer sounds do, a company that make hi-fi separate equipment and micro hi-fi is here in the UK. Richer sounds is a great company. I recommend them from the bottom of my heart because they share their profits with every worker that works for richer sounds. They share their whole profit around their employees, which is a really good sign that they, that they take care of their employees. Much different to Virgin who get Virgin employees get paid minimum wage for doing a 12 or 13 pound an hour job, I think. I think Richard Branson is a bit stuck up and an evil guy, really. He only owns his own island, but he can afford that. And Virgin Australia Airlines went into administration earlier today, if you didn't see. So Richard Branson's ego is going to be dented because of that. It won't affect him financially, but he's a millionaire. But his ego is going to be severely dented, I'm pleased to say. I used to like Richard Branson, I used to have a lot of time for that bloke, but not anymore. He's, he's just an arrogant sod. He doesn't care about the normal working person. He probably votes Tory. I, I vote Labour because I care about this country getting better. I care about him helping older, older people, elderly people, and he helps the young as well, the people with mental health conditions such as myself. And the Tory party don't help anyone that is poor anyone in benefits he looks down the noses at people on benefits and i don't like this we're on benefits for a reason i'm on benefits because i've got paranoid schizophrenia and i've got drug addiction problems and some people on, on esa and pip because they have difficulty breathing difficulty walking some are disabled like my friend who is in a wheelchair and she has a walking aid. She can walk with a walking aid, but not very far, but she gets out of breath due to her COPD, which is a breathing problem. COPD, I don't know what it stands for, but it's, it's very severe. And I wouldn't like to have it because she gets out of breath ever so easily. Anyway, please like this video if you enjoyed what you've been hearing and watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you wish and, I'll, and comment below and I'll comment back to you if I can answer the question. If not, I'll say I don't really know how to answer the question or whatever. Cheers now, then. Bye all. Cheers.